I like how in every cutscene, there is absolutely no zombies around. Like, no matter where you are, even if it's the most zombie populated area, there's no zombies. I think that's because if they added all the zombies, it would take a lot of uh, frame rate issues. It would make a lot of frame rate issues because they'd have to account for all the textures and all the zombies and all that and whatnot. Um, one thing I noticed is that Chuck Green is also the co op partner. So you killed your partner, even though. I don't, I don't really know what the thought process was in that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that was just something I found interesting. So I'm probably going to do art appreciation first. Because I need to find someone with a chick. Uh, which is going to be hard to do. So yeah, I'll just go do art appreciation. Ooh, what's this? Frank, you better get the pub of gold. Oh man. He's, that guy's going to take up one of my Zombrexes. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I have enough. I'll get one spit in last because I, because I don't want to have to run around with a guy on my shoulder the whole time. I don't think I'll get brains over brawn just yet because I'm going to wait until I get a call for a female. Maybe, oh no, I did do that dancer. Hmm. It's hard to say where I'm going to go next then. Uh, uh, I've noticed there's a lot less Playboy posters in this one. Like, there's none. I wonder if that's because Playboy didn't, like, pay money to be in this one. Hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> so, we're just going to get the art guy who's on the second floor of this place. So basically what we have to do is pay him three grand to come with us. And I really did wish we had the shortcut in the uh, brand new U, but apparently we don't. So, uh, I need to wait until I get that, uh, the one about the Venus touch girl. <sighs> Which should be about a day or so. I, I'm, uh man, I haven't talked this much in like two days. It's so hard to talk to yourself. That I, I think a lot of people that do this secretly like just talking to themselves when nobody's around. But uh, I, 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 the way I treat this is I'm like it's like I'm talking to a mute person where they're just sitting there listening to me. They're kind of like if I was a grandparent and I had grandkids. They, they clearly be listening to my war stories, but. Um, <clears throat> they're just there to be there. And that's what I think you guys are. You guys are like my grandkids. And I'm telling you loony stories about how I was born in the 19th century and I destroyed Hitler's caravan with a caramel bar. And you guys are just sitting there going, Yes, granddaddy, I know you did. That's why I'm sitting here listening to you. And then for some reason you're the one that sounds like you're 90 years old. But yeah, so clearly you guys are just here to entertain me. Uh, that's, that's basically the whole thing here, is I, I do what I think is entertaining, but you guys are the ones sitting there on your asses going like, Yes, Scratton Daddy, we're just going to listen to you all day. But, uh, enough of that joke, because that makes you sound ancient. But anyways, so this is the guy, Randolph. Randolph. Uh, a friend of mine used to like a guy named Randolph, but not actually the guy, just the name. They were like, and we're, and my perfect guy's name is going to be... Randolph. And I'm just like, Randolph, really? I was playing Dead Rising 2, and I killed him with a dildo. But, uh, yeah, so that was awkward. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see what we got going on here. We got Randolph, so we're going to go over to Two's Company, which is uh, that the comedians. So I'm hoping the that the black comedian isn't there, because if, if he doesn't win, you have to like pay him money. So... Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, it's just I don't want to pay any more money because I already threw a, like 200 grand in the fire because I thought I was going to get a combo card, but only I, I really only got like 100,000 experience. That's what I'm going to start calling it, experience. I might as well. I mean, it's the same basic idea. So if Randolph gets... Oh, fuck, he did get caught too. Wow, okay. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Is he free? Oh, okay, he's, he's fine. Um... But speak of the devil, I was like, oh, if Randolph gets caught, oh, look, Randolph got caught. Next time, I'm not even going to mention it, see if he doesn't do it. But, uh, clearly, this game is amazing. I love it. Uh, well, I'm also a huge fan of Dead Rising, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, <clears throat> I even did the seven-day achievement in, uh, Dead Rising 1, which is a pain in the ass, because you have to, like, stay up. You couldn't save. That's what pissed me off. You couldn't save. I mean, that would be a lot easier to do if you could save, because, let's face it, uh, that would be awesome. 
Um, but uh, I can't really complain. I was able to do what I had to do. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I got the seven day achievement, then I got Red Rings, which is why my YouTube name is Red Rings TV. I'm facing my fear. I'm becoming Batman. But uh, anyway, so we got Randolph. We're heading through Atlanta Casino. Uh, I, mm, I, why am I narrating everything I'm doing? Oh, well, that's something I notice I do when I play Let's Plays. Uh, there's no point in me narrating it. I'm just telling you where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Two's Company, which is I believe is in Uranus Zone. Uh, it's in Uranus. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to get those two guys, and then I'm probably going to get Once Bitten and return them. Unless I get another call with a female, then I'm probably going to leave Once Bitten till afterwards, but then again, I do have probably the maximum amount of calls I can get for right now, um, which is kind of pissing me off, because I have to time everything even more, um, but anyways, so in the last, uh, I think in my last couple episodes, I may have mentioned something about things I would have wanted in Dead Rising 3, and I mentioned how I wanted to have a character selection where you get to level up both Chuck and Frank at different times, like, uh, if you got Frank to level 50, Chuck would still be level 20, and then you'd have to play as Chuck and then have a different storyline. Like, they split up. Uh, l let's say it like this. Okay, so, I think of it like, think of it like Dead Rising 2 mixed with Dead Rising 2 off the record, where, um, there's two different storylines, oh, yeah. but at the end they meet to make oh, the same yeah. point. I want it to be like, Dead Rising 3 is a bunch of guys that just go into, oh my god, is Randolph gonna explode? Is he? No. Okay. So, I want it to be like, um, where they start off and they both, uh, have to split up into separate areas and they both go their separate ways and then they meet up at the end. And then you have two different storylines, uh, with two different areas in the same game, but you get to level up two different characters and play two, two different storylines with separate weapons and whatnot. So it's like you get two in one. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. But... Um, that could just be me. If you guys agree with me, make sure you leave a comment down below with what you would want and if you agree with me and why you agree with me. Oh my god, is Randolph caught again? <sighs> he'll probably free himself. I'm, I'm hoping he'll free himself because I'm not going back. I'm not. He'll free himself somehow. If not, he dies. No, he hasn't freed himself. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm going back. Uh, please free yourself. Come on. Seriously, why isn't he getting, like, hit or something? Usually he could free himself by now, but he's like, oh my god, that's because it's one zombie, and he's, like, putting his hand over her mouth. Yeah, let's let her bite me. Woohoo! No, don't punch the zombie. Follow me. I'll give you a hot dog. Come here. Come on, get out of the way. You got... Don't get caught again. <sighs> okay, so. That store ahead of me. From Fort... Yeah, from Fortune with Love. This is the store with the comedians now. They used to be in that Hot Exciterama, or Hot Exciterama. Mm. And, uh, yeah, so, get Randolph in here. Get in here. No, get inside. No, get in. Okay, there we go. What a bad kid. All right. <clears throat> wow, I can't believe I've already been talking for like an hour. So I'm going to give you the hot dog. You're going to eat it like a good boy. There you go. And then we're going to talk to Walter and Royce. Oh, Royce is still here. So I guess they didn't want to uh, replace uh, or make a different skin. Because he looks exactly like the guy that just got eaten. But anyways, let's see. Um, I'm thinking of just giving the trophy to Walter. Because then he won't, like, cry about it. But I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to leave it as a surprise for you guys. <laughs> Uh, mm, I'd probably rather pay him because then they both leave happy and Walter doesn't cry all the time. Uh, uh yeah, I'm gonna give it to Walter and then just pay Royce and then they're both happy uh, because Royce gets money and then he's just like, yeah, money, yo. And then Roy uh, then Walter doesn't have to stop to cry every once in a while. So, I mean, they were both terrible jokes. Don't get me wrong. They both involved grains and stains, so clearly it's not that good of a joke. So I'll pay him his five grand. I mean, it's not that bad. I was thinking with the way this game was going, it'd be a lot more money I'd have to pay him, but clearly no. Okay, so I'm running out of time for brain over brawn, but uh, I'm going to get once bitten. 
And then after I get once bitten and return these guys, hopefully I might get the construction worker girls. And if I do, I could take them to Brain Over Brawn. Or, ooh, let's see, to case 2-2. Two, two. If I could finish case 2-2, two, two, I could probably unlock Taste Like Chicken. And if I can get Taste Like Chicken, I can get uh, Synth Cynthia? I, I forgot her name. And then I could go on over to Brain Over Brawn. So a lot of this game really just involves timing. Uh, which is something video games has taught a lot of people, is timing is key for everything. If you don't time yourself well in the game, you will lose, which has been true for most games. I'm not entirely sure for kids' games, because let's face it, I've never played one. Uh, I've been playing M-rated games since I was like 11. Uh, <laughs> if, if it was present day now, I'd probably be one of those 10-year-olds in Call of Duty that's going, Hey, you can't play like that! <laughs> that would be me. Uh... But <laughs> thankfully, I went through puberty, and I don't have that problem. Because uh, let's face it, if I sounded like that now, I would have a recording deal, and I'd be going out with Selena Gomez. Ha! A Justin Bieber joke. All right. Anyway, uh, I have my moments. I'm just talking. I, I literally run out of things to talk about besides uh, things that I'm going to do, because this game is pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of... Uh, difficulty. The only reason it's really rated M because is because of all the blood and gore. It's not like it's puzzle mania or anything. But a lot of it has to do with time management. That's all this game really needs is time management. And that's what I'm doing. So anyways, uh, look at those girls. Mm, yes, mm, tasty. <laughs> I sound really creepy. But uh, uh, I'm going to go to a peep show. Wait for them to catch up. <laughs> anyway. So they caught up to me, so I guess this peep show is totally worth it. Oh no, I see green spa spray paint. That means there are looters somewhere. Yeah. Oh boy. Where are they? Oh, there he is. Oh no. I'm going to end up killing Randolph. I don't want to do that. Let's get them away from them. Come on, follow me! What? Okay, so Papa Gold is right there, but where's the looter? Where is he? I know. Oh, there he is. Oh no, I hit the wrong guy. No, come on. Why aren't you dying? There we go. Is it the only one? Yeah, that's the only one. Yeah. All right. So we're fine. Now where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Jared from Subway. I ate too many sandwiches and it slowed me down. So I got bitten. Sorry. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, so I'm going to give him a hot dog. And um, yeah, I'm going to give this guy some Zombrex, hook him up, and then uh, carry him on my shoulder. Because there's a devil on my shoulder over and over. What? How did that not count? Oh, that's sad. No! I missed it. I thought that would have counted because I got the picture of him injecting his, the arm and his face was in it. But oh well. So, I've noticed when you're carrying people on your shoulder or on your back or in your arms, it's a lot easier to escort them because you're tackling them. And the, I mean, by them I mean zombies your shoulder attack sh uh, hey, shoulder people. tackling the zombies so you, you kind of don't really have to worry about it which is pretty cool I do like that um I think it's pretty dope actually so let's see what's going on here um I don't think I got that uh combo card yet for the paddle and chainsaw and I'm just too lazy to go get it right now uh because I'm I'm pretty strapped for time I want to get case 2-2 done and I want to get brains over brawn uh, because those guys are really creepy and funny and nerdy as hell. But, uh, 